Uh, this morning we are checking out a few of the featured locations on the Doors Open Minneapolis tour. It's happening this weekend and it gives people a chance to uh, go inside the places that help tell the story of Minneapolis. Mm -hmm, a lot of history mm -hmm. behind those doors. Shane Wells visited the Minnesota Spokesman Recorder in the last hour. She has moved to a new location and uh, beautiful there. Is that, are we in Diamond Lake? Is that right? Yeah, Diamond Lake Lutheran Church and we're going to give you that awe moment when you walk into the sanctuary. There are so many churches in Minneapolis that have this incredible architecture. This is one of them and one that's featured on the tour. And we have Reverend Andrea Roski Metcalf with us this morning. And you can tell us a little bit more about the history of this church and the yeah. design here. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Uh, this is a this is a Gothic revival sanctuary. Uh, Hugo Hauser is the architect. He designed more than 300 churches. This was one of his last. Okay. Uh, he designed our original chapel in 1941. Uh, this this building, this particular sanctuary, he also designed. Uh, it was started in 1951 and completed in 1952. Uh, but Hugo died in 1951, so he saw the beginning of construction, but he wasn't there to see it never through. Never saw the finished product. He never saw the finished product. And the stained glass comes from a separate person, and it and it's incredible in here. Yeah, yeah. This this window here up front that everybody sort of faces during worship. Uh, Robert Berg is the stained glass artist for that piece. That was installed in 1958, and then his student, uh, Richard Huell, is the one who put in, uh, who designed these storytelling windows, and they tell the story uh, of, of basically the Gospels, right? We have the nativity window here where we're, where we're talking about the birth of Christ. We start with the prophecy before that, and then we go all the way through uh, the life of Jesus in these windows. And it's interesting because we're to this window this weekend. Yeah, this is the Pentecost window and this Sunday uh, we recognize uh, Pentecost, the the birthday of the church basically when uh, when the spirit uh, came down and there were lots of languages involved and lots of fire involved in it and it's basically assumed to be the birthday of the early church. Uh, we recognize Pentecost this Sunday and that's why all the pyramids are red. Gotcha. Um, uh, really cool too on the side, the left side of the fire is the original church that was built by yep. him and then the new one, the one yeah. we're in now. The current sanctuary yes. is there on the right hand side and stained glass sketch which is so cool. Wow. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot more stories and a lot more symbolism and we're going to get into that uh, later this week on Good Day. So that's a very, very deep tease. But what are you guys doing for Doors Open, which is Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 5? Yeah, Saturday and Sunday for Doors Open, we have all kinds of stuff uh, going on. We have a self-guided tour. Uh, we'll have tour guides in the building too, but we have a self-guided tour pamphlet that you can come in, especially for the stained glass. Uh, we have uh, a stained glass scavenger hunt for kids. Nice. We have cookies and Lutheran coffee on <laughs> Saturday. And then on Sunday, coffee, of course. And we have a waffle food truck uh, on Sunday worship uh, at 10 a.m. and then at 1 o'clock in Spanish and people are welcome to come during worship they're welcome to attend worship or they're welcome just to come and you know come up the side aisles and look at the stained glass as we worship that won't that won't interrupt us we so will welcome all visitors absolutely we love it well, yeah. thank you for your time I so appreciate it thank you for coming yeah if you guys want to learn more and see some of the other amazing venues that are on the doors open tour that's happening this weekend you can head to doors open Minneapolis dot work yeah. back to you very good all right yeah. Yeah. Hey, beautiful church I wonder if their version of Lutheran coffee is the same as mine <laughs> which would have Bailey's in it that's what oh no that would be. I don't think so yeah. oh, a little different oh, that's, that's a, a special question. kind of coffee maybe I've been doing my, it wrong all these kind. years it's possible <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> Beautiful church. Uh, I know it well.